Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Wounded ants call an ant ambulance. So this is the first. This is the first documented case of a wounded animal that is intended to and looked after by another wounded animal of the same species after a battle scenario. So Matabelli ants, Megapanera analis, so that's a species of ants, and this is work done at the Würzburg University in Germany. So this is what happens. Every single day you get raiding parties of between two and six hundred ants. They go out, they go find a termite's nest, they break into the termite's nest, they grab all the termites, they bring them back in order to feast on the termites. They eat termites, so this is what they do. Now I know it's not the nicest thing to do, but this is nature and this is what happens. On the plus side, the termites got some pretty hardcore mandibles, so they will cut and bite anything that they can get their jaws into. So a lot of the ants get injured. They'll lose a leg or two or five. They'll lose a lot of legs. And in 2007, it was observed multiple times that the ants were actually carrying their wounded compadres back to the ants' nest. So if an ant lost a leg or two, then other ants would carry them back. Now this is not normally a thing because especially in the social insects, if you've got loads and loads of ants, why waste energy carrying an ant back? There's loads of you, it doesn't really matter. So what happens is the ant would lose a leg or two and it release chemicals, release pheromones, which would then call on your ant saying, hey, please come and help me. Take me back to the nest, I'm injured. And then back in the nest, nurse ants would lick the wounds vigorously for two minutes to help clean them. Now it's so good that if they didn't get their wounds licked, 80% of them would die, but if they did get their wounds licked, 90% of them would live, would survive. So it's thought the licking cleans out the wound, cleans out debris, or saliva in the ants ha might have antimicrobial properties, which helps to kill off any infections which could cause the ants to die. But whatever the reason, even if they've lost a leg or two, they're still pretty good and can match the speeds of the other ants in the nest. So it's advantageous to take them back and to clean their wounds. But some ants had a pretty hardcore and they'd lose up to five legs. These ones, they were simply left. And most of the time they'd be thrashing around so it's difficult for the other ants to pick them up. Whereas if you lost a leg or two, then you curl up in a little fetus position, send, release your pheromones, and other ants would come and pick you up and carry you back to the nest. Some of these cheeky little ants, they would even try it on. So if they lost a leg or two, they'd fake a bit more of an injury and you know, strum, struggle a bit to get back in the hopes that another ant would come and pick them up. And if they didn't come and pick them up, they'd be like, oh, okay, fine, I'll just walk back on my four or five legs. They'd just crack on and get back to the nest a bit faster. So why do it? It's a combination of three things. They have a low birth rate, they have small colonies, and they've got a taste for termites. So therefore, a lot of them are gonna get injured a lot of the time. In fact, a third of the colony has lost a limb at one point or another. That's a dangerous feeding habit to have. Would you risk losing limbs to go and get food on a daily basis? That is, wounded ants called for an ant Thanks for tuning in. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.